after a few days off it's thursday at jacksonville probably the smallest track we go to all year long it rained a bunch yesterday it rained a little bit this morning but the sun's out and they're watering the track so should be good to go i think the track's uh gonna be pretty good i think the pits are a little soft but we made it in they uh, held us quite a while uh to park but jacksonville has a great following they only seat about a thousand fifteen hundred in these stands here but um they love this place they have a great following they always have a good time here fan base is awesome so looking forward to this track we drew a 14 there, i'm guessing there's a good amount of cars here probably 30 something cars um obviously complete total opposite from bristol so we have to change our program for here and see how we do um this is like a great midget track we're putting sprint cars on here like the four wide salute it's a little tight but i'll give you a little show of the uh, track here and uh see how we do tonight guys it's a unique place how the only place you can get off the outside of the track is the front stretch and they got this sketchy berm going in the one like a launching pad if this game was on the ps2 game we'd be launching that thing up in outer space kind of like the vegas jumps but uh it's a great day we'll see what happens guys and uh let's have some fun well i went to go feed the guys i should have the camera rolling they had a band in there big party some vip stuff where you get a pork chop sandwich they hooked me up Help me skip the line to get three burgers for my guys, keep them fed. So thank you, Jacksonville, for making an easy job there to get some food, skip the lines, and uh, be ready before the driver's meeting. So I had a fan come by. Got to give a shout-out to Mason Campbell. He is a local sprint car driver, 360 sprint car driver. Broke his C vertebrae at Lucas Oil Raceway. Uh, get well soon buddy i broke my back in 2008 and uh came back just fine good to hear that you don't need surgery and uh you'll be uh, back before you know it that back brace sucks for a little while but you just got to fight through it man and listen to the doctors um get well and uh, if you have any question with safety stuff make sure uh you'll have the right stuff i heard you had a hybrid uh you got to get one of those you gotta have a good helmet you gotta get a seat insert next so if you don't have a seat insert get one guys called dave sharply it's a game changer but i get well buddy we'll talk to you soon it's driver's meeting time see ya I didn't do a video after last night had a lot of fans come by taking pictures and we got out of there it was a couple hour drive so uh it was a good night we ended up second quick won our heat race uh pulled a four in the dash ran third in the dash uh kind of hovered around third or fourth the entire race and uh, ended up running third there, it was chaotic there was a ton of cautions uh, a lot of wrecks we were close to some of them. Uh, at some point in the races, it looked like we had the car to beat and was doing really good to challenge for a win and settle for third, kind of faded at the end. And uh, I'm really happy with third at that place, my best finish there uh, ever since we've been going. So we'll take it. I didn't get to do a video last time to go to the car wash. I was exhausted, so I fell asleep in the truck, um, got to the hotel and slept for like eight or nine hours. So I was tired. Hopefully caught up in sleep and hit it hard to hear the next two days, but we just got finished up uh, doing maintenance. We're in the Holiday Inn in Columbia, Missouri. Got the 49, the 17, the 2, and the 9. We're all finished up. We're going to go to uh, Chipotle for lunch. So I'm going to eat some Chipotle head of the track. And uh, I got t-shirts coming in, so I got to pull out of shirts. Uh, for you guys for online orders and uh, we'll see how tonight goes talk to you when we get to the track new track here uh, this weekend i-70 redid the whole place new configuration so we'll see what it's like peace all right guys we're here we just got uh shirts unloaded from r and r big al brought them over for us just got it all unboxed ready to go so i got a bunch of hats now those white gray and black hats and gray and black have been super popular so i got a bunch of those so anybody that ordered last week or the week before i'll be shipping this week for you guys and uh, this will probably be the final hurrah 
for this design. We got some new designs coming out, so stay tuned. All right, here we go. Driver's meeting's over. I-70, they just redid this whole track, whole facility. Beautiful facility, but if you look in the track here, we got uh, got some tractor tire grooves here. It's pretty soft, so it's a big track. We're gonna be hauling some major butt here, so hopefully it smoothens out. They got those tractor tires out, and hopefully uh, they could get it decently smooth and we have a good night. I'm guessing it's gonna be a sold out crowd. I'm guessing it's gonna be crazy, and uh, hopefully we can put on a good show for the fans for the first time here after the big uh, revamp. So when somebody spends this much money on a racetrack, you want good things for them, but this is the first event on this place ever. So see how it goes, guys. We go out third. See you later. We're at the car wash. Guys are getting stuff washed up, spray everything with simple green, got the quarters filled in for them, so now they're rolling. The night is over, night one of I-70. Track was big, fast, got pretty rough. Um, started off great with quick time. Won the heat race, drew the pole, the dash, won the dash. Uh, didn't get the jump on the start. Uh, Zierfoss did. Closing in lap traffic, caution came out on the restart. Uh, I slid past them going into one. Had to lead for about 12 laps, got into lap traffic, and uh, Brad snuck by me. Uh, he started ninth, so wasn't expecting that. Uh, got by us, and a caution came out with a couple to go. Noticed my wing kept moving back by, my, by itself, and uh, I just kept getting tighter and tighter. And uh, this hurt us a little bit in lap traffic, but he was really good around the bottom of the racetrack. And then uh, three to go, I got a decent start, and then uh, ran the top of three and four, trying to go opposite of Brad, and Brown hit a really good corner, got by me, tried to answer back to him, ended up third. So a little disappointed with third. We're really close, though. We're in the hunt. I mean, a couple things went our way. We could have won the race. So overall, uh, a very good night. Uh, but definitely want to win or, or get second there, worst case scenario. So hopefully we'll clean those things up. We've been noticing lately that, that our tire pressures have been going down quite a bit under long caution. So we're going to work on that and, uh, you know, see what we can do for tomorrow. But uh, overall, like I said, a solid night. So we'll get finished here at the car wash, get cleaned up, and uh, go to bed. It's already 12.45, so it's a really late night. Hopefully they could finish earlier tomorrow. i got a flight to catch in the morning. So... Um, we'll talk to you guys later. Look at Cody getting up in there. We'll have her shined up for tomorrow. Get her fast again. Again, up underneath that thing. Got a tray cleaning the quad, mule, wheels, panels, air filter. He gets all the miscellaneous stuff. Alright guys, day two at I-70, day three of the weekend. We're all, all ready to go. Uh, we drew a later pill. We're in the third group out of three. Probably like fifth on the end. There's 27 cars, I believe. So, qualified extremely good yesterday. So, hopefully we could keep that up and uh, see what happens. The track might be a little bit drier tonight. But, um, we're looking to qualify good and get in that dash. And hopefully have another solid run tonight. I like to cap the weekend off with a win. So, See if we can keep this streak going. Talk to you guys after. Alright guys, I made it home here in sunny Florida. It's 90 degrees and hot and amazing. Um, didn't get to do a video last night. Hustled to uh, get to the airport and get some rest, which I only got three hours of sleep. I had a flight at like 6.15 a.m. But, um, man, thought we were going to cap off the weekend really, really strong. Uh, we were really fast all night. Started fourth in heat, got to second. Something came up and hit something in the motor. Ran the uh, motor dry of oil and hurt the engine, so we DNF'd in the heat. Had to get into the B main. Won the B main, started 19th in the A, got to the top 10 pretty fast, and 
Just had a couple of moves go uh, not my way. Guys slid up in front of me, ruined my momentum, then they got back by me on the bottom and end up running ninth from 19th. So overall, a really strong weekend, two podiums and a ninth. Um, I think we could have been on the podium or challenger for the win, no doubt, uh, last night. But it's the way racing goes. Going to enjoy the week here. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. T-shirt trailer is going to be available soon. Got my truck. I'll show you guys the truck soon. And uh, check out the Bristol Apparel on DavidGravel.com. I post on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Hope you guys like it. We got a lot of orders already. You guys are amazing. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Love you. Peace out.